Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Transfer Talk. Today's episode outside the Tame Bridge, there's seagulls everywhere. Probably gonna get shot on, not that you'll be able to tell with this bonnet these days, but the noise might be bad. So I'm gonna go inside this little doorway here and uh, just do it here and hopefully still get a nice little background and the noise isn't too bad. We're just gonna do a quick video today on the transfer topic that's been looming since yesterday, which is Chelsea's Timo Werner. Now, before I wanna get into that, I just wanna say a big thank you to every single one of you that have subscribed to the Magpie Channel TV, that follow us on social media and all that. But we're out tonight along the case having a few beers, celebrating that 20,000 subscriber uh, being hit. Nice big milestone being hit there for the Magpie Channel TV. Finally, that's been enough to lose in the first channel at like 9,000 subscribers. We've now got over 20,000 views on YouTube, so thanks very much for all you that are tuning into that. Really, really appreciate it. If you're watching this video, you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. But enough of that, onto the video. What we're going to do is talk about Timo Werner. Now, Werner, a Chelsea forward linked with Newcastle United in the last 24 hours or so. It's all over, it's everywhere. I've been asked about this a lot, even today, bumming into people, but on DMs, I've been asked about Werner to Newcastle. And. To be honest with you, I'm unsure on Werner. I mean, I tell you what, if he hadn't moved to the Premier League, everyone wanted him before he went to Chelsea, didn't he? Liverpool, Klopp were battling out for Chelsea for him. Everybody wanted a shot of Werner. Brilliant record in the Bundesliga. But the Bundesliga is a different different plate of gravy, different tub of gravy compared to the Premier League. Because in the Premier League, he scored 23 times in 89 games. Quite a few assists in that time as well. But I've watched him live, I've watched him in games. And his movement, and Alan Shearer has pointed out as well, his movement has been terrible at times. And that's what was really annoying me last night against Benfica, was Chris Wood's movement in the box, non-existent. Shocking. Callum Wilson's movement is brilliant as a forward, but Werner's is questionable as well. He's like the really white mountains, way over from your mountains these days. You know, he's always offside. Timo Werner is constantly offside in the Premier League. Missing sitters, he's missed so many sitters. I don't know if it's a confidence issue, if he hasn't adopted well to the Chelsea system, because he is a big talent. He's a huge talent in German football. In the national side, he's been very good. So if you look around and you offered me Timo Werner now, compared to Chris Wood, then he, yeah, I sat behind up. I'll take Werner at Newcastle. Let's have him. But what is he, 26? He's on £272,000 a week. Can we negotiate a deal with Chelsea with potentially a loan this season with an option to buy at the end of the season if he does well? That would be a smart move for the tune. If he could split his wages, so we were only paying £130,000 a week for him. Seeing only, he'd still be our top winner at the club by, by, by quite a bit. You know, you got Chris Wood and Trip here and that run £100,000 a week. If we could do that, then that would make sense. Whether Chelsea or not would like that, or whether Chelsea just want the, the, the fee up front, it remains to be seen. Do you know what I mean? But Werner has been heavily linked with Newcastle. It's an option that we are apparently exploring. I'm not sure on Werner. I've seen enough of him in live games. On Sky, I've seen him in the flesh at St. James and Stamford Bridge where he hasn't impressed. He's looked shit. But I've seen moments where he's looked like his old self, especially at the Champions League stage. He's looked very good for Chelsea. There's been moments, obviously, before that in the Bundesliga where he's looked world class. He's looked world class for Germany. But I don't know. It's a tricky one with Werner. Like I say, with the quality we've got at the minute, yes, take him. But I'd rather try and look for someone else, to be honest, because there's the stuff that I've seen that hasn't been good enough from Timo Werner. But yeah, just a quick one for you there on Werner at Newcastle. My thoughts would I take him? Probably, yes. Will Newcastle sign him? I don't know. I think the wages could be an issue. The loan or the fee could be an issue. I just think there could be better options out there. Like, I really do. Looking abroad, I think Samaka, who's the same for West Ham, very good signing for them. Let me know in the comments below, would you take Timo Werner in Newcastle United? That's a quick one for me. Again, thank you very much for the 20,000 subscribers. I'm going to go and enjoy that one tonight. All right, a lot of hard work has been at that over the years, but it wouldn't be possible without you lot. So again, thank you very much. There's the Tame Bridge, that's looking lovely. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like this video. See you on the next one.